Hello, this is a short video about creating custom map box base map for use in uh, leaflet maps, primarily ones that have been created by QGIS to web in um, QGIS application. So I'm just going to walk through um, how you get this set up. This assumes that you've already um, set up a map box account and um, are logged in. You can see I'm on my accounts page right here. Um, so first let's walk through how you go ahead and start uh, and create a uh, custom base map in, in Mapbox. So uh, Mapbox is set up that you have a Mapbox Studio as their online web application for editing base maps. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see you can set up, you know, do lots of different things here. We won't go into all the details. We're going to create a map style. That's how you create a custom base map. So I'll go ahead and click on create a style and Mapbox is going to want you to start with one of their existing custom base maps. We'll start with the basic one in this case. You can choose whichever one is closest to the, the style you'd like to end up with. So if I go ahead and click on create, it'll go ahead and open that style up for me. Now you'll see uh, in the window over here, I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. There's a bunch of um, different map uh, features that we can look at. So you can look at bridges, uh, roads, uh, water, buildings, etc. And if you want to change one of those, you can click on one of these and go ahead and edit the information over here. In some cases, you might not know exactly what it is that you're looking at. So this is a, a map of Paris. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. What if I would like to change this road quality? Well, if I just right click or if I just click on this, it'll say here's the two options. You're clicking on a road or you might want to change the background. So I'm going to say I want to change the road. So I'll choose road major and then I see all the options over here. So I can change the width of the road, its opacity, its color, its cap, its round limit. There's various kinds of features here that you can play around with. In this case, we'll make it just a little bit wider, right? And you can see there's some scale sensitivity here about how um, wide that is. So um, in this case, let's just make it so that at the broadest scale, it's a little bit bigger. So um, we'll say 50. And you'll see it may, it automatically got thicker over here. If I change it down to 20, it gets quite a bit smaller. So let's just say 50, right? And then we're done. And then what if we want to change the font? You know, this font's fine, but maybe we want something with a little more personality. Well, if I click on that, you'll see Road Major Label is on here. And I can change the font. So instead of Open Sans Semi Bold, let's choose, um, we'll just pick one more or less at random. Courgette regular. Why not? So we'll click on that and again you see that change over here. Maybe that looks a little small and you'll see here again it will um, show you as the scale increases it'll scale appropriately. Let's just say we want it to be larger at the top end. So if we change this to 25 again this gets bigger here. And now if we zoom out you'll see that text. If we wanted to change the color of the text we could go under color Right, and we've got all this set up here. We can do RGB. Um, let's just say we want to change the color of the text to blue. Right. Um, if we want to change it over to blue. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. One, you can just enter it in this way, or you can just drag it. Um, so that has not worked as consistently for me. So there's blue text, and you can see how that blue works there. So you get the basic idea with this. Once you have your style set up, you click on Publish Style. It shows you both the before and after. You can see that we've changed the, the street size a little bit, and we've got a different color. See how the differences show up on the map? Sure, Publish is new, and we're set. Lastly, now we want to go ahead and uh, put this map into a leaflet map. To do that, we're going to need a link to this uh, base map, right? So here's this map right here, basic copy that I just published a few minutes ago. If I click on menu and then share, develop, and use, it'll show me the map here. And you have lots of different ways that you can use this map. We want a leaflet link under develop with a style. And you'll just get a link here to use, uh, be able to use this base map. Let me go ahead and copy, and we'll just paste it. I'll hit Control V. You can't see that, but I'm, or Control C to copy, and then I'm going to go to an existing map that I've got here. I've got some dots um, for businesses on, 
And if I open up the index file, right? So if I go to the QGIS to web folder, this assumes that you know how to export maps from QGIS to web. If I open up this index file in Notepad++ or any text editor, I get something that looks like this, right? You have to kind of read through this and try to figure out what you're doing with it. We want the line that starts variable for base map and it'll say use this tile layer and then you'll see there's a URL there. If I now paste that URL I got out of Mapbox and I hit save, and I come back here and reload the page, there we go. Now we have that lovely base map that we created before. And you can mess around with how it looks, but it's pretty straightforward. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to make this work.